<coughs> hey, what's going on guys? Petey here. Today we're going to be talking about the Mitsubishi KI67. So this is a fan favorite because of its speed and its ability to kill armor and vehicles, um, which is basically anti-air and tanks. So it's a pretty supreme fighter or bomber. Um, very quick, has a lot of HP, but I don't know why everybody picks this bomber. Um, looking at the stats, I did a bomber breakdown, and this definitely is the fastest bomber, but racing all of them, uh, the Dauntless is just a hair slower than this Mitsubishi, and it does significantly more damage. I'll put up the stats right now. You can see it does 1300 versus armor. 1300 versus vehicle it only does 400 building damage but i mean you only get 600 from the mitsubishis so uh this is up to you like it's just a hair slower than the mitts and it does significantly more damage like i know that running airmen the whole time it takes for you to get to the flak and start bombing the flak is where you get shot down the most so you want to clear that distance as fast as possible but imagine getting there and hitting twice as hard. <laughs> like once you finally make it there, you're just a hair slower, but you get there and you hit twice as hard. And then, it, I mean, the Dauntless is a thousand HP lower, but it's still, I don't know. It's up to you guys, but I'm just going to put this out there because I think, I don't think it's public knowledge that this thing absolutely rips uh, instead of the mitt. So anyways, going back to the mitt, um, it's very good. You make it through level three league city. And like I said, it's a tank killer. Usually people use these with Avros. Um, so that way, because the building kill time on these are so bad. But run like 20 of these, 20 Avros, and then um, some jets and you're good to go. So let's move on into it, into the officer. Uh, I have no idea how to pronounce this dude's name. But he's the mint officer. He gives you the plus 50% ammo max. Uh, gives you some more move speed, plus 20% HP. And then good buffs it gives plus 30 percent to ship so i guess if you're using if you want to kill ships or you you're going to try that i i would never try it versus cruisers i've never experienced it maybe mitsubishi's just smoke through them but um yeah i guess if you're going to face ships this is the plane to do it so moving along we got henry h arnold plus 50 percent down the line um big bad guy of the air force Next, we have Dwight D. Eisenhower. He gives you plus 50% morale to all units. And then um, once you guys go jubilant, you get plus 15% down the board. Uh, next, you have Abrams. He gives you plus 10% to all units in enemy territory. And finally, you have Georgie, plus 175 defense to units in allies or allied territories. So now we're moving into game here. Looking at airmen. Um, you get air units bonus to attack, all air units plus 10% to all attack. You also get air units plus 20% speed, which is why these things are really good. Looking at this tech tree, you get bombers max fuel plus 30% if you upgrade into that. Next, you get a plus 35% attack versus rebels, which helps if you're trying to farm up rebel troops with these. Um, you get a plus 40% attack versus armor, which is really huge because 40% of 1,700 is pretty high. Or of the 800. Sorry, I was thinking of the Dauntless again. And then you also get a plus 30% attack versus buildings. And finally, you get a plus 50% max ammo, which helps all the bombers. And then moving down here into tier 4, you get a plus 10% to air, armor, and buildings. And that's about it with these guys. So looking at the battlefield tech. Um, sadly, these guys fall under tier four, which I've talked about before with strats. It's it's just unfortunate to have them this expensive and take this long, because to max out your your Mitsubishi's, it's going to take you 35 hours. The 35 hours is nearly two days inside of the field, and so to do these and to do your jets, it's going to take you the heck is the math on that five days. The field's going to be over by the time you get all those up. So it is a little unfortunate you're going to have to pick and choose what you want to do or spend some gems. But yeah, they do fall into this tier 4 and then they have the same upgrades as every other bomber. 
So, yeah. Um, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for tuning in, listening to me talk about the mitts. Um, if you guys have any video suggestions, let me, hit me in the comments, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Peace out.